Ladies and gentlemen, we're live broadcasting worldwide. I'm broadcasting from San Diego, California. Will Johnson is in the Austin InfoWars News Center, the ATX. And James O'Keefe of Veritas fame is on the road, but he's calling in and they'll let me know uh, the minute that we get him. There has been a new giant Google data dump by whistleblowers. Google machine learning fairness. It's always Orwellian named. Whistleblower goes public, says, burden lifted off my soul. And they have in there specifically that InfoWars is not good information, they've said, because I exposed everything, you know, years and decades before, like Trump would win and then Jeffrey Epstein was running a pedophile island. And so I've got to be stopped. But here's the big thing. They've been telling Congress that they don't censor any conservatives. They don't censor any libertarians. They don't censor any Trump supporters. They only censor fake news, which they can define as whatever they want. And then, of course, Mitch McConnell tried to put a, a link up to his house being basically assaulted. People saying they want to kill him. They let the people keep their videos up on Twitter and Facebook that were pro attack Mitch McConnell, leader of the Senate, but they would not allow the response to it. And that's what this is about, is fixing the election. As the last big piece or tranche of documents showed a month ago from James O'Keefe and Project Veritas, he joins us now. Uh, please, in the one segment you have, you've got the floor, James O'Keefe. Tell us about the latest bombshell, right as Trump says he's drafting executive orders to take action. Hey, Alex, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can. Again, can you hear me, James? Yes, this is, um, this is a, a, a story that was broke today. A, a, the, the insider who sent us the machine learning documents um, has gone public, and he says a burden has been lifted off of his soul. Uh, his name is Zachary Voorhees. He's released thousands of documents from within Google, uh, blacklists, human raiders, um, he's basically blowing the whistle and saying that this is his Google Snowden moment, and he's and he's and he's willing to go public. He he was making two hundred sixty thousand dollars working for Google a year. He he says the police have been called on him from Google. There's video of him, police confronting him outside his home. So this man has gone public. He sat down and talked to me, and the video is up online, Alex. Now. That's amazing. And after you leave us, we're grabbing that video right now from Project Veritas uh, website. Tell people the uh, headline on that video so they can find it and share it easier. The headline, Alex, is Google whistleblower goes public, says, quote, burden lifted off of my soul. That's the headline of the video, and it's on Twitter. It's on YouTube. It's the highest performing YouTube video we've ever done today. It's blowing up YouTube. We hope they don't take it down. If they don't take it down, it'll get well over a million views. Well, this is this should get 500 million views. I mean, they've Google's testified. I was there when it happened that they don't control any searches of any type. Well, their whole system is about controlling searches. Uh, that they've never censored anybody. I mean, they have really perjured themselves to Congress. Can you elaborate on just how in, in, wild these documents are? This is beyond smoking gun. Well, I think in, in the video he goes into the, the blacklist that exist at Google. Um, these are uh, uh, documents that prove maybe that they've perjured themselves under oath. He talks about um, he talks about this algorithmic fairness document that was leaked. This was the one that was cited in congressional hearings. Algorithmic fairness sounds like a Orwellian fiction, but it's an actual document within Google uh, talking about machine learning fairness. They need to use product intervention to make the world more fair. Um, and uh, it's pretty pretty extraordinary. Perhaps the most extraordinary thing is that he's has, he's a thousand of these documents, and he's we published them on our website. Um, a fringe ranking classifier score that that lists various news sites, including CNN, and gives them ratings. Um, internal thread of communication shows uh, an apparent discussion about the coffee beans document, where one Google employee expresses concern about. Hiring, so it's all there. It's a tr it's a WikiLeaks style dump um, on our website, projectveritas.com, and Zach has courageously been willing to uh, to to put himself on the line for the country 
uh, with the hope that others follow in his footsteps, Alex. Incredible. Let's remember Google has, has decided, along with other tech giants, to move to China to help suppress their population, to help build censorship uh, search engines like Dragonfly. They're already implementing that here. Uh, Bing is somewhat censored, but nothing compared to uh, Google. We put in exact Breitbart headlines, exact InfoWars headlines, exact Project Veritas headlines, and they won't even come up on Google. You go to Bing, they're at the very, very top, and that's owned by Microsoft. So Google has done what no one except the chai -coms have done before, build a search engine where they just put what they want on the top. And the even bigger scandal is it's coming out that people are paying, not just for the top ranking as an ad, but that the other stuff is being paid uh, to put up there. And obviously, it's going to take time to go through all these documents, but bombshell after bombshell. But look at the intimidation factor of them sending the police after him. Yeah, they did a, they did a, a, what 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 we we've learned to be a wellness check. Um, uh, Zach believes that Google called the police on him. Google confirmed that they were they received a call. Sorry, the police confirmed they received a call. And uh, there's videotape of Zach in San Francisco on the street outside of his apartment, putting his hands up, um, and and I guess submitting to the police. Again, the Google has sent Zach a legal letter. They uh, are threatening him to cooperate. So Zach did, in fact, cooperate with the authorities, but sent the documents to the Department of Justice uh, to uh, under William Barr. So this is all happening. It's it's all part of this watershed moment. The series of events. These whistleblowers. These brave insiders. Alex, we know there's many more people on the inside. We, we've asked them to come forward. We know that they will come forward. Our email address that that they're coming to is veritas tips at protonmail dot com. That's veritas v e r i t a s tips at protonmail dot com. And uh, we we believe that there are people listening to this interview right now who work for Google, who are on the fence about coming public. They're afraid. Don't be afraid. They're actually more afraid of us uh, than we are afraid of them. Because you you can't you can't stop morally courageous people who keep on coming out. Well, that's right. And uh, look at how Infowars is listed in there. I mean, they sit up there and say we're not censoring anybody; they're censoring everybody. And and, and notice Infowars is in there. Infowars is in there. They have they have a, a lot of conservative websites in there. Again, it's it, the people say, "What's the solution? What's the solution? We don't want government involvement." I'm not suggesting government involvement. I'm suggesting these companies be honest about what it is that they're doing. At the very least, let's begin with that. And the only way to make them honest is to hold their feet to the fire and let sunlight be the best disinfectant. They can't perjure yourself in Congress. You can't lie to the government. At the very least, so we 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 want them to be honest, and we think that uh, a continued crusade of people like Zach. But if you watch this video, again, the title of the video is Google Whistleblower Goes Public says, quote, burden lifted off my soul. What strikes you is the passion of Zach. He's an extremely passionate, committed man. He's given up his, he's given up his salary, his, his willingness, the ability to get a job. Uh, he, none of that matters to him. What matters by to Silicon him is, by Silicon Valley standards, he, uh, this man's a hero. And talking about next shoe to drop, what would you call this time we're in historically, where there's a quickening with Epstein and the Chinese government and, and the economic war and all the Clinton corruption and the foundation and the FBI uh, uh, corruption, Justice Department and the Russia Gate? I mean, it's it, the wheels are coming off everything. And I think the hubris of the Democrats and the hubris of big tech at some point's got to break. I think it is a watershed moment, Alex. I think the people on the inside of these organizations are heroes. Our heroes tend to be anonymous. They're, they're not the celebrity, flashy people we see in corporate media. They're not the deep state uh, individuals or the government uh, individuals. Uh, amazing job. Welcome back on this live Wednesday Global Edition. Will Johnson's riding shotgun with me. James O'Keefe can only do one segment. He's on the road going into another meeting. And ladies and gentlemen, we got secret Google documents a year and a half ago from a source, I'll just leave it at that, inside Google. They were paying millions of dollars to have people organically go out and downvote me all over the web in, in ratings so that Google could delist me 
and then say he's rated as a non-credible source. They also did it to my credit rating. They did it to my banking rating. And, yeah, we're getting the lawsuits ready. Uh, you saw that the Covington kid lawsuit got thrown out. Uh, Robert Barnes predicted that here on air. It was basically from his research, what they call captured councils, what, the, what it looked like. Um, it got thrown out immediately. He's, he's filed suits there. We are getting ready to file suits. In the Epstein case, to bring out even more documents, and we're looking to file suits on some of these financial institutions. We have them dead to rights. It's just going to cost a lot of money. This war costs a lot of money. To stand up and fight these people costs a lot of money. But now the climate is here. The climate is right. And Trump is starting to take big action. <laughs> these companies are spying on us. They're selling our data. They're working with foreign governments. They're working with authoritarians. They're acting in total bad faith. And they've lied to Congress. And they are stealing our futures and stealing our ability to see and hear what we want. This show is compelling. It's powerful because of our guest, because of our research, and because of our dedication. There's a lot of things in the chemical kingdom where you'll have a drug that something is supposed to carry the drug across the blood-brain barrier. Tobacco companies add chemicals to cigarettes to make it go across the blood-brain barrier even more. Well, that's an analogy of InfoWars. I can be brash. I can be aggressive. I can be angry. But I carry it across the blood-brain barrier. All the other guests, all the other info, I got people's attention. I love being made fun of in memes and things. The, the, the globalists figure that out and they, they try to stop it. Because I didn't care what happened to me. I cared about the truth getting across so that when it all came out, people knew they were being lied to. So on hundreds and hundreds of issues, we've been proven totally right. Our guests have been proven right. And you are the info war. I'm not just saying that as a pat on the head. You are the reason we're here. So please take advantage of the ultra massive extended sale. We've had to take some of the things down because they're about to sell out. So uh, it's, it's a new sale, but it's still storewide free shipping, double Patriot points, and massive specials up to 60% off. Storable food, still 50% off. They're telling me that has to end. A lot of the water filters have sold out. Still some of the great ones are there. Infowarsstore.com. Thank you all for the support. Will Johnson is going to take over with a bunch of guests for the balance of the transmission here in a moment. But I wanted to air here just a few minutes from the full Project Veritas report that's also posted to Infowars.com and Newswars.com. And yes, Twitter might slap you on the wrist or Google might do something to you if you share this. But they're going to take everything you've got, these bullies, if you don't start standing up. So I know our audience gets that. But it's time to bring more people in. And in closing, a lot of folks right now are blown away. A lot of people right now are apologizing to Infowars. And we're seeing the most traffic we've ever received since the last election. Uh, people are really understanding that we're not playing games. And sure, this stuff sounds incredible and shocking, but it's true. Truth is stranger than fiction. So think of what's coming next. Think of what's going to come out next on Google and Facebook and Twitter and Apple. Think about what a huge time in history we're in and how amazing this all is. So here's the whistleblower that the police have now come to his house. Hands up. Uh, as a Google intimidation in San Francisco, which they own, but he still is persevering. And I can't wait to try to get this whistleblower on the broadcast. Here it is with James O'Keefe. I've been living with this like burden for three years since 2016 when they started changing everything. And, you know, and, and to have that burden lifted off of my soul is, I've never felt happier or, you know, more more at peace with myself than I have, like, right now. They, the police didn't announce themselves. I decided that I'm just not going to talk to them. So, why are the police outside your home in San Francisco? And so... What I did is I put out a dead man switch. People are like, well, you're brave. It's like when I'm coming and, and explaining what Google was doing, this is an act of atonement, okay, to make my conscience clear. They're not an objective piece. They're not an objective source of information. They are a highly biased political machine um, that is bent on never letting somebody like Donald Trump come to power again.
The Google whistleblower has come out of the shadows, this time releasing a large cache of remarkable confidential Google documents that expose Google's political bias and a scary progressive social agenda. My name is Zach Voorhees, and I was an employee at Google for eight years. And the reason why I collected these documents was because I saw something dark and nefarious going on with the company. I felt that our entire election system was going to be compromised forever uh, by this company that told the American public that it was not going to do any evil. And I saw that they were making really quick moves, not only in the documents, but also in the internal speeches that the executives were giving to the company, that they were intending to do that. They were intending to sculpt the information landscape so that they could create their own version of what was objectively true. It was June 24th. Project Veritas released an investigation that included an interview in the shadows with Google insider Zach Voorhees. Within days, it seems, Google was on to him. What happened since you and I last spoke? Uh, there's a lot of stuff that happened since you and I last spoke. Um, I went back to San Francisco and I laid low. And uh, then, out of the blue, I got a letter from Google um, indicating that they knew what I had done. And that letter contained uh, several demands, six of them in fact, uh, asking me uh, whether I retained documents, asking me to list the people that I had given the documents to, and uh, requesting access to all of the data, all of my uh, all of my personal data, my laptop, my backup hard drives, in order for them to come in and start scrubbing all of it. So we have the letter in front of us, and I have a copy of it here. This letter does make a few demands. It asks you to cease and desist. It asks you to comply by a certain date, no later than Friday, July 26th. Did you? Uh, I did. I did comply. And I complied honestly. What did you do? Uh, what I told Google is that, yes, I had retained some of their files. And um, I told them that, yes, I had sent it out. And I told them truthfully that I had um, sent their files to law enforcement. Uh, what law enforcement agency did you send it to? The law enforcement agency that I sent it to was the Department of Justice Antitrust Division under Attorney General William Barr. But according to Zach, Google's attacks on him had only just begun. A Twitter troll outed him as the leaker, saying, By the way, Zach, shouldn't you remove well-employed tech geek from your bio, Mr. Leaker? Hmm. So who do you think one snowflake is? Well, I had my suspicions that it might be uh, an insider from Google since that information that he posted wasn't public. After I realized that Google knew who I was, um, I started going to uh, lawyers and attorneys and trying to figure out, like, um, what Google's likely next step was going to be. And uh, both attorneys that I talked to both said, this is the first step in having your life ruined. They're going to come after you. And so I realized that this is what was coming to me. So what I want to let them know is, you know, um, you know, look, I've, yeah, I've got your data. Yeah. And so what I did is I put out a dead man switch so that in case they were going to either try to destroy my life through the legal system or that they were trying to just, you know, off me because, you know, I'm exposing their a really big thing, how they are tampering with elections. Um, I wanted to let them know that, hey, look, if something were to happen with me, then these documents are going to be released immediately. And what is a dead man switch for those who aren't familiar with that? So a dead man switch is something that people that have um, information about a corporation or somebody else uh, and they're concerned about their personal safety and possibly their life. And what they do is that they let that entity know that in the case that they get offed, that uh, the information will be released to the public. Mm -hmm. And so I set up a dead man switch to trigger in the case that I was killed or assassinated. And so um, I let them know that I was willing to do that um, and uh, to protect myself. The next day, uh, the police uh, began looking for me in two different locations. 